I got kicked in the head. If you can see, you can see the close up of that. There's a scar. I don't know if you can see it. I got kicked in the head. Got a massive concussion. A hematoma developed. Uh, they operated it in a locker room. Uh, I got infected. It wasn't taken care of. I should have rested, let it heal before I got back in the ring. But I was just doing as I was told. And it actually exploded in a fucking, excuse my language, exploded in an airplane. What happens is they, they got rid of the hematoma, but it was attached to an artery. And the artery was feeding blood to the hematoma, which was making it bigger and bigger. I mean, it was swollen out to here. And as we were touching down in Cincinnati from Buffalo, connecting to Louisville, Kentucky, the air pressure in the cabin changed and I was in the lavatory and just, just exploded. So I actually pressed the call attendant button and I can just imagine like the, <laughs> the stewardess like opening the door and seeing this guy with just blood just pouring out of his head. You know what I mean? And like, and she comes back with two bottles of water. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm not thirsty. I'm bleeding to death here. And going into that match with Bob, did you have any suspicions that... Uh, At the last second, Kenzo was like, Renee, be, be careful. He knew what was going on. Yeah. And, and that was all over, I guess, uh, you'd rented a car or something. I made a mistake. Okay, hey, you're young. You ever make a mistake when you were young? You ever make a mistake? No, you're not perfect. Of course. Nobody's perfect. You made a mistake. That I hadn't lived... He's, he goes on to say that I never offered to pay him, which was complete horseshit. He was sitting at a table in Dallas Fort Worth when he called me out on it, and he was sitting there with Bradshaw. And uh, my memory was like, you know, because you're going a million miles an hour, and this was two months prior. Uh, and I was like, whatever it is, I'll pay you double. Just let me know. And that's not good enough. And, and at that time in the locker room, if you did a little thing, they would blow it out of proportion to make it a big deal. Because uh, that's just the way it is. There's a massive amount of paranoia there. Where people are job scared and that's the way they do their business uh, to keep up productivity and they would have loved to see a guy like me just go away you know what I mean? had you been friends with Bob previously yeah looking back it was probably a mistake to ever ask to ride with him but my my thinking was like you know what I'm gonna prove myself to these guys and show them that you know what I work hard in the gym I fucking die just as hard as you guys and you know what I mean? I'm, I want to learn, and I want to be one of the boys. You know what I mean? So, whatever. And uh, from what you know, the locker room's a lot different now. It's not from what I hear, yeah. And those guys should be uh, very happy that it is different. You know?